what is neutralization neutralization is a simple process of reaction of acid and a base to form water and salt now this is the process where heat is released and in this process we have let's take a very simple example of acid hydrogen chloride reacts with sodium hydroxide to form the common salt which is nacl and water now when we have various indicators we have seen changing colors with the indicators in order to understand how acids and base react but this process of neutralization is actually very very important i have some common life examples where this process of neutralization is used sometimes you do enjoy the food outside but when you return back you feel indigestion now this ind indigestion is because our stomach is acidic now when this amount of acid in the stomach increases you need to have certain base in order to neutralize it for indigestion what are the base used we commonly say antacid is used or milk of magnesia is used now all of these are examples where base would react with the stomach acid in order to neutralize the effect and what is the base here magnesium hydroxide is the base now i take another example my another example is ant bite ant or insect sometimes bite us when we are playing in the garden or outside what is the acid which is released by the insects we say it is formic acid commonly now this formic acid actually needs to be reacted with a base in order to neutralize so what can be good examples uh, you are commonly asked by your uh, great grandparents or great grandparents to use uh, toothpaste as a remedy commonly so toothpaste is used as a remedy other common remedies are moist baking soda anything which is basic and commonly found at household is something which is used in order to get rid of this issue so baking soda Uh, moist baking soda toothpaste are good examples sometimes if you are having a uh, solution at home calomel solution is another good example calomel solution is nothing but zinc carbonate uh, zinc carbonate so zinc carbonate is also used as a a uh, base in order to neutralize the acid so two common examples of indigestion of insect bite we talked about the next common example is soil the soil structure sometimes can be too acidic so what is used is uh, potassium hydroxide we call this commonly as potash so potash is used in order to neutralize the soil if the soil is too acidic if the soil is too basic what is used is the uh, the uh, acidic mediums which can actually neutralize it so uh, soil and the fertility of the soil is based on how well the soil is it's neither too acidic in nature nor too basic in nature and acidic soils are usually uh, neutralized how they are neutralized by lime water we also say this as slaked lime the next is waste water waste water effluents from industries actually run into the water streams and they are highly acidic in nature what is done to neutralize that acid calcium hydroxide uh, or lime water again slaked lime is commonly used in order to neutralize the industrial effluents which are seen in the water now uh, this is how we understand neutralization so anything which is either acidic or basic having a ph of less than 7 is acidic more than 7 is basic we try to neutralize it at 7 and we call these as neutral substances so soap is a good example of being a neutral substance water definitely is an excellent example of neutral which has a ph of 7 a neutral ph now whenever salts are formed there can be three kinds of reaction a strong acid reacts with a weak base so first example that i take is a strong acid let me take as hcl reacting with a weak base when the strong acid reacts with a weak base what would be formed is a acidic salt so this salt would be acidic in nature because acid is more prominent acid is strong there good example is weak base uh, ammonium hydroxide 
so weak acid would be ammonium chloride which would be formed the next example is when you have a weak acid this weak acid reacts with strong base when the base is a strong we call this as a basic salt what would be a good example a good example of basic salt would be uh, sodium acetate so sodium acetate formed by weak acid which is the acetic acid acetic acid is a weak acid uh, which we can take into account and then it reacts with a strong base what is a strong base naoh or sodium hydroxide so when it reacts with sodium hydroxide there is a basic salt which is the sodium acetate which is formed the next important case is when a strong acid reacts with strong base strong acid we know is hcl strong base is naoh sodium hydroxide uh, hydrogen chloride reacting with sodium hydroxide to form a neutral salt so when both of them are strong neutral salt would be formed and what is a neutral salt the common salt that we consume so nacl would be an example here in this reaction so salts can be three types as we said acidic salts basic salts and the neutral salts and how these are formed the reactions we have understood so a strong acid when reacts with weak base would give you acidic salt weak acid and strong base would give you basic salt and strong acid and strong base would give you a neutral salt now talking about some examples of common salts from our life now common examples of salt you have ammonium chloride nacl the common salt used for flavoring used for preservation sodium carbonate na2co3 commonly used in detergents then we have sodium bicarbonate baking soda commonly used for bakery products also used in antacids fire extinguishers then we have potassium nitrite kno3 which is used in gun powders fertilizers uh, calcium carbonate slake lime uh, also uh, Uh, we use slag lime to form the calcium carbonate is the salt obtained from slag lime so marble uh, formation of cement would be where calcium carbonate is used and then we have copper sulfate copper sulfate is a salt which is commonly used as fungicides so these are some of the common salts and their uses that we understand so this was about understanding how with the acid base reaction salts are formed and water as a by product of it the salt salts can again be of three types they can be acidic salts basic salts or neutral salts and where all these salts are utilized